Welcome to Elm's Public Demo. Here's your guided tour of the instructional designer role. So, you log in using InstDesigner, InstDesigner. And the first thing you're probably going to want to do if there's no content, um, so I can go to OER courses, see there aren't any in there. I can look under here at the bottom, you'll see the bars changed on I'm logged in. So I'm not currently enrolled in any courses. Most likely you'll see both, both of these messages because the site resets itself every hour to prevent from getting spammed. Uh, so let's make a new course. So this is gonna be my course title. I can either make it a protected course or an open course. Basically the difference in the demonstration environment is open courses will show up under this tab, whereas protected courses will show up in the you know, InstDesigner's courses list. So we'll make a protected course, my new course for the video, path, test, why not? Academic unit, this really doesn't matter, but you can just you know, see what listing we have there. Okay, so instructional design. First thing you're probably gonna wanna do is create an outline. So you need to do none and it'll you know, let you build off of a brand new outline, but I'm gonna go with duplicate course outline and its content. So there should only be one course unless other people are working. So you can see default basic unit. So I'll pick that. All right, now that I've picked what instruction it's going to create first, now I get to pick the navigation. So I'm gonna go with a left-hand navigational style. Just because it's straightforward. You can read the description for the other ones. Schedule builder. So this is what I've been rambling about quite a bit lately. So you can either make no schedule, you can do a topic-based or week-based schedule. I'm just going to make a week-based schedule. Uh, you can see you don't have any additional scheduling sources as this is a public demo. Uh, if it were a private demonstration uh, for Penn State audience, then you would have the ability to tap the registrar. Uh, how do you want to form your week structure? So for this first video, we're just going to do define structure below. So I can define my structure here that I want. So Let's change it from the default, which is those three. Let's do a lecture here. And scoring method, whether or not you want points. Uh, so next we have theme. You can pick from any of the different themes. I'm just going to go with chamfer, as that's the default. But you can see there are a couple different options. And you can always switch to them after the fact. Additional settings, commenting. Now commenting is disabled in this demo, but you can at least verify that you can change that. And print options as to whether or not uh, pages in this course will be allowed to have PDF or printing. Footer, I knew footer 2011, and we'll hit save. And this will take a little bit of time. So what it's doing now is it's creating the outline. It's now, okay, never mind, that didn't take very long. <laughs> so it created the outline, which is, you see unit one here, and you should get an interface something like this once you're, you've created your course. So the first instructional design portion was over here so you can see now I have unit one and it added this just very basic course structure um, navigational style I chose left that's why you see it over here if I chose left and drop down you would see it across the top as well if I will click back to the course here um, here's my schedule so I can you can verify this works you can click these off give you a little percentage bar to tell you how far with the course you've completed. I've completed these chunks of the course, you see it increments appropriately. Uh, as you go through the course, you go to unit one, you know, lesson one, activity, I can hit edit, and I'll get a very basic edit form. WYSIWYG editor, you can enter information there, and hit save. Down at the bottom, you'll see there's the, this will take me to the schedule if I click the leftmost item. Uh, my bookmarks, if I bookmarked any content, it'll propagate here. An instructor list, which for the purposes of this demo doesn't show anything. Uh, course admin, so I can view the roster, which again, that won't show anything. Export to HTML, which isn't working currently. Uh, I can change the theme, which is disabled for the demo. So basically these three are what you're gonna wear for this demonstration is the edit outline, edit schedule, and edit course. And I will show in the next videos what those are all about.